Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of his sacrament of your body and blood help, help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth to beseech, beseech you, O Lord, Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought, brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery the baptism of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise, Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, who is only begotten Son, Son by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered them with glory. He has clothed them with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have our being, 
we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is tried to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday, in the sixth week of Ordinary Time. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great king over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they have seen all of my works. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Come into the Lord's presence, singing for joy. Please be seated. Stir up your mighty power, Lord. Come to our aid. O shepherd of Israel, hear us, you who lead Joseph's flock. Shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our aid. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, and abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbors. Our enemies love us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. He brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow. 
the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit the spine and protect it. Divine your right hand has planted. Men have burned it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength, and we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us, and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has worked marvels for us. Make it known to the ends of the world. I give you thanks, O Lord, though you have been angry with me. Your anger has abated, and you have consoled me. God indeed is my Savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. With joy He will draw water at the fountain of salvation and say on that day, Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim His name. Among the nations make known His deeds. Proclaim how exalted is His name. Sing praise to the Lord for His glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise the song and sound the trimbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule in Joseph, when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden, your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress, and I save you. I answered, concealed in the storm cloud. At the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouth, and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice and Israel would not obey. So I lift them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel, I would feed with finest sweet and fill them with honey from the rock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace is to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord, Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person with shabby clothes also come in, and you pay attention to the one wearing with the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, 
stand there or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those whom he loved? But you dishonored the poor. Are you not the rich oppressing you? And do they themselves not hold you off to the court? It is not they who blaspheme the noble name that was invoked over you. However, if you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You are doing well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin, and you are convicted by the law as transgressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I saw the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah. Still others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. And this he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Nung mga nakarang araw, narinig natin o nakita natin kung gaano ka-frustrated si Jesus, kung gaano siya ka-disappointed sa kanyang mga disipulos. Bakit? Dahil itunuro na niya, ipinakita na niya, ipinaranas na niya ang kanyang kadakilaan, pero hindi pa rin nila naunawaan, hindi pa rin nila naiintindihan. Pero ngayon sa ating Ebanghelyo, sa unang parte ng ating Ebanghelyo, mayroong improvement kahit pa paano. Nung tinanong ni Jesus kung sino siya sa paningin ng mga tao, sinabi nila, ikaw daw, si John the Baptist, o isa sa mga propeta. Pero tinanong ni Jesus ang kanya mga disipulos, para sa inyo, sino ako? Sinagot ni, Juan, ni Pedro, Ikaw ay ang Kristo, ang Mesiyas. Pero sa ikalawang parte, sinabi ni Jesus, dapat siyang magpakasakit, dapat siyang mamatay, at muli siyang mabubuhay. Dahil sa konsepto niyon, Waring taliwas sa pag-iisip ni Pedro. Dahil sinabi niya na si Jesus ang Mesiyas, ang tagapagligtas. Pero sinabi ni Jesus na siya'y masasaktan, na siya'y mamamatay. At hindi yun matanggap agad ni Pedro. Kaya ano ginawa ni Pedro? Pinagalitan niya si Jesus. Dinala niya sa isang tabi at pinagalitan. Siguro sinabi doon ni Pedro, hindi ka pwedeng mamatay dahil iligtas mo pa ang bayan ng Israel. Sumisikat ka na, nagiging tanyag ka na sa mga ginagawa mong milagro, tiyak ang mga tao ay susunod sa iyo. Magkakaroon ka ng maraming impluensya. Magkakaroon ka ng kapangyarihan at dahil dyan, kayang-kaya mo nang iligtas ang bayan ng Israel sa mga mananakop. Pero anong sabi ni Jesus? Get behind me, Satan. Bakit? Dahil kung mapapansin natin na si Jesus ay tinukso din ni Satanas. Mababasa natin yon sa aklat ng Ibanghelyo ni Mateo. Sinabi ni Satanas kay Jesus, itong bato, gawin mo ang tinapay, ihulog kita sa mataas na bundok. Tawagin mong maanghel para sagipin ka. Pagkatapos, ipinakita ni Satanas kay Jesus, ang malalawak na karian. Sinabi, ang lahat ng yan ay mapapasayo. Just worship me. In the same manner, Peter also tempted Jesus. He tempted Jesus. Wag mong gawin yan. Wag mong hahayaan yan. Hindi natin hahayaan na mangyari yun. Magkakaroon ka ng kapangyarihan. Dahil sasagipin mo pa ang bayan ng Israel. Pero alam niyo po, Tao si Jesus. Bagamat siya ay tunay na Diyos, siya rin ay tao. Kaya nga, He is also subject to temptation. Bakit? Sa pagiging tao niya, ayaw niya rin na masaktan sa totoo lang. Natatakot din siya sa anumang mangyari sa kanya. Kaya nga mapapansin natin, sa Ebanghelyo ni Lucas, Nung si Jesus ay nagdasal sa Gethsemane, na malapit na siyang mapako sa krus, anong sinabi niya? Father, if you will, take away this cup of suffering from me. Take away this cup of suffering from me. Natatakot siya. 
Dahil alam niyang masasaktan siya. Alam niyang mamamatay siya. Natakot siya. Pero anong sinabi niya pagkatapos nun? But not my will be done. Your will. Kaya nga, sa pagiging tao niya, yung mga pagnanais niya na hindi masaktan, doon siya tinutokso. And in the same manner, tayo rin. Being tempted is very human. Lahat tayo natutukso. At alam niyong tukso ay laging nasa harap natin at ipinapakita sa atin kung ano ang, nat- ang ating pagnanasa, kung ano ang ating mga alalahanin sa buhay, kung anong laman ng ating damdamin, at anong kagustuhan natin sa buhay. Kaya si Satanas, pinuntirya ang pagiging tao ni Jesus. Itong makikita mo, itong mararanasan mo, Kaya nga, hindi sumuko si Jesus. Because, kapag tayo ay nag-give in sa temptasyon, anong mayayari? Mapapalayo tayo sa Diyos. Mapapalayo tayo sa ating misyon sa buhay. Mas magiging mahina tayo. And it will lead us to sin again and again. Kung titignan natin ang nangyari kay Adan at Eva, di ba sila'y tinukso ng ahas? Kainin niyo ito. At pagkatapos nun, nung kinain nila ang forbidden fruit, anong nangyari? Di ba nagtago sila? Nahiya sila? Sila mismo ang nagtago sa harap ng Diyos. Sila mismo ang naglayo sa kanilang sarili sa Diyos. When you give in to temptation, mapapalayo ka sa Diyos. Tingnan natin ang nangyari kay Samson at Delilah. Si Delilah tatlong beses na tinukso si Samson para lamang malaman kung saan nang gagaling ang kanyang kapangyarihan, ang kanyang lakas. Pero nagmatigas si Samson. Hindi agad niya sinabi. Nung tatlong beses siyang tinukso ng alindog, ng kagandahan ni Delilah. Pinigilan niya. Pero dahil sa pagpupumilit ni Delilah sa kanyang harapan, sa kanyang alindog at kagandahan, sinabi din ni Samson na ang kanyang buhok Kapag pinutol, nagiging mahina siya. At diba pinutol ni Delilah ang kanyang buhok pagkatapos nun, nang hina si Samson at siya ay nadakit. When you give in to temptation, mangihina ka, you become weak. And when you give in to temptation, it will lead you to sin again and again. Halimbawa, nung si David ay nakita niyang naliligo si Bathsheba, gusto niyang kunin si Bathsheba na kanyang maging asawa. Tapos anong ginawa niya? Ipinadala niya si Uriah sa digmaang natiyak siya ay mamamatay. Parang pinatay niya na rin si Uriah na asawa ni Bathsheba. Para maging kanya si Bathsheba. Dahil sa tukso, nakagawa lang siya ng kasalanan. Iba-iba. Paulit-ulit. At yun po ang ginagawa ng tukso. When you give in, kapag sumuko ka sa tukso, papapalayo ka sa Diyos. You become weak and it will lead you further to sin. Bakit? Masarap eh. 
Masaya eh. Pinapakita sa iyo ang kagandahan, ang kaligayahan na matatamo mo habang nandito ka sa lupa. Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus kay Pedro, Your concern is not about the will of God, but of human being. Kaya anong tinuturo sa atin? Kung ang tukso ay laging nasa ating harapan, anong gagawin mo? Tanggalin mo. Sabi ni Jesus, Get behind me, Satan. Bakit? Para makita ni Jesus kung ano ang kagustuhan ng Diyos para sa Kanya. Sa atin din. Kailangan nating tanggalin ang temptasyon sa ating harapan. Put it behind our back so that we can see and follow Jesus. Sabi ni Jesus, pick up your cross and follow me. And we too, we have to suffer. But with Him, we will rise again. Pero paano yun? Di ba may sabi, sabi ni Jesus sa mga disipulos, sa Mateo, sa aklat, sa Ebanghelyo ni Mateo, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Paano yun? Gustuhin mo man, pero mahina ang iyong katawan. Pero alam niyo po, bago sinabi ni Jesus yun, merong dalawa siyang sinabi. Dalawang salita. Sabi ni Jesus, Beware. Magbantay ka at manalangin. Nang sa gayon, hindi ka madaig ng tukso. Magbantay ka. Manalangin. For us to put Satan or temptation at our backs para makita natin si Jesus, we have to pray and be aware of our own weaknesses in life. Ang ating pagiging tao ang sa gayon, makita mo at masundan mo ang kagustuhan ng Diyos. Makita natin si Jesus at hindi yung temptasyon. Be aware, siguro hayaan natin na pasukin ng Diyos ang ating isipan. We'll let Him search our minds para makita natin o ipakita sa atin kung saan tayo dapat papunta. Kaya't panalangin siguro na anyaya, paanyaya para sa inyo ay yung panalangin sa Psalm 139 verses 23 to 24. Sabi, O Diyos, ako'y siya sa atin. Alamin ang aking isip. Subukin mo ako ngayon kung anuman ang aking nais, kung ako may hindi tapat at ito'y iyong nabatid sa buhay na walang hanggan, samahan mo ako't ihatid. Kung ako man ay hindi tapat at ito ay iyong nabatid sa buhay na walang hanggan, samahan mo ako at ihatid sa ating panalangin and when we let God search our minds and probe our hearts makikita naman natin na all the while sinamahan tayo ng Diyos tanggalin natin yung tukso kahit mahina ang ating katawan sa ating panalangin at sa kanyang patnubay, ihahatid tayo kung saan tayo papunta. Please stand.
As we gather to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. For every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father may keep the Church in the faith of Peter, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may follow the footsteps of Christ by accepting their daily crosses in imitation of His suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find their crosses heavy and burdensome may find strength and consolation in Jesus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may see in their illness a splinter, splinter of cross of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz, and Most Holy Rosary, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone before us in faith may see the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions, the intentions of this Mass, and for the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenges of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart may be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice inside this day. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that may sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you formed it anew, and so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration 
we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As you celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord 
who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That a common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Give your people knowledge of salvation, Lord, and forgive us our sins. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Give, Give your people knowledge of salvation, salvation Lord, and, and forgive us our sins. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, scandals, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.